Hi guys, it's Case by Case channel. Finally, I upload Tower Killer Part 1 test. The test was so hard and bold, but so happy for giving you good information. Okay, so by the way, I want to show the result as soon as quickly, but I can't because I was so busy this day for my business and it was taking too long time to editing the video. Anyway, let's move on main points. This video will show the progress and result of the Tower Claw Part 1 test. The spec of the computer used in the test are live on the left side and I conduct Tower Claw Part 1 test which I just mentioned. If you haven't seen the previous videos, AI War Water Cooler Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, or want to see them again, click the link above. The Tower Cooler Part 1 was conditioned where the Tower Cooler was mounted as a direction of flowing backward, as you can see. When I test it with 9 different fan settings, I want to find out which setting was the best. The 9 clean fan settings are basically the same as the condition of the AIO water cooler. But I have changed the setting of the cooling fans 6 and 7 in consideration of the airflow inside the case. Firstly, I am setting up the computer for testing. The summer graces used for the test. I bought GD900 from the AliExpress. It's cheap but high performance and a large quantity. To do this, I removed the used summer graces and reapplied it after removing the water cooler. As I mentioned in the last video, this test is doing with a front glass panel. At the time of testing, the room temperature was 24.2 degrees. As you can see, the first test was setting number 9. All 6 cooling fans are mounted in the direction of exhaust tank. I was using the ADA64 for the test program and used the hardware monitor to measure the CPU and GPU temperatures. Out of the test, the six fans were set to the maximum speed mode. The test was progressing about 10 minutes and they recorded the highest CPU and GPU in 10 minutes. The same test was performed for the remaining 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The test took more than half an hour in each case, so totally it took about 5 hours. But I'm gonna show you in 5 minutes by my editing, I will say one more time, it was a really boring and hard time for me. All the tests are finished. Now let's look at the result. The tower claw was mounted on the direction of exhausting backward and setting up 9 different combination of curling fans. As you can see from setting 1 to 9. Among them, the best condition was number 3 and number 8. Wow. And they show 71 degrees of GPU and 69 degrees of GPU. The worst condition was number 7 and they show 79 degrees of CPU and 69 degrees of GPU. I think the reason for the best result of number 3 and number 8 is because the cool air from the top of the case was supplied directly to the CPU cooler. Actually, the airflow inside the case is not good in number 8, but it seems that the result is good because the air is sent directly from the top to the cooler. So I choose number 3 as the best setting for airflow and appearance. So I'm gonna finish the test. Upcoming video is Tower Cooler Part 2. 
I'm gonna plan to carry out 9 tests by inserting the tower cooler on the direction of exhausting open. It is still a lot of parts from the tower part 2 part 4 and comprehensive conclusions. If you want to know about more the result of tower cooler part 2 and less of the video, please subscribe, like and click the notification bell. Also please leave the on the comments. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.